Hello and welcome to GSC at Home. My name is Saba and today we're going to look at a chemical reaction called oxidation. What is oxidation? Oxidation is a loss of something called electrons due to contact with the oxygen in the air. Electrons are tiny particles. They are parts of atoms that form a shell or the central part of the atom, called the nucleus. Oxidation reactions occur in food and non-food items. Why is oxidation important then? Well, life on Earth needs oxygen for its survival. However, oxidation in our body can lead to the production of unstable molecules which may damage our cells. Certain molecules, known as antioxidants, can slow down the process of oxidation. Some really well-known antioxidants for the human body are vitamin C and vitamin E. Have you ever opened your lunchbox and noticed that the apple you sliced in the morning has turned brown? When apples are cut, the molecules in the exposed fruit underneath the skin react with the oxygen in the air, causing oxidation to occur. This results in the apple turning brown. Today, we're going to investigate how apple slices react when soaked in different liquids. For the first part of the experiment, you're going to need drinking glasses, apple slices and some liquids that you have at home. Today, I'm going to be using milk, lemon juice and water. First, we need to prepare and pour each liquid into its own cup. You can also do this in separate bowls or Ziploc bags as well. Make sure to use the same volume of liquid. Now, place an apple slice into each liquid. Be careful to make sure that the apple is fully covered. After half an hour, we will remove these apple slices from the liquids. What do you think will happen to the apples in the meantime? For this part of the experiment, we're going to need a plate, a fork, kitchen roll, a pen and paper to make some labels. Now I've made them beforehand and we're going to use them by placing them on the plate firstly. So let's just place them on our plate and this is going to help remind us what the apple slices were soaked in. Let's take our apple slices out of the liquids and put them on the plate. This can be quite fiddly so I'm going to use a fork to do this. And I'm going to place them right next to their label. So let's just take them all out carefully and the last one now, take it out and put it on the plate. Make sure that they're right on top of their labels. What liquid do you think will have worked best for keeping the apple from oxidising? Why do you think that is? After about six minutes we'll have another look at our plate and we'll see what apple slices have oxidised. Which of the apple slices is the least brown? Let's have a look. It's the one soaked in lemon juice. That's because lemon juice contains an acid called ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C, which will react with the oxygen before the oxygen can react with the apple slice. When preparing apple slices for lunch, a light spray of lemon juice will keep your apples fresh without altering your taste too much. The vitamin C acts as an antioxidant in our experiment. Oxygen will first react with the acid and only when all the acid has been used up will it react with the apple. Then we'll start to see the apple browning. The milk and water covered slices have turned brown. That's because these liquids don't have any acids which can slow down the oxidation process. Thanks for tuning in to GSC at home. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try our very best to answer them. You can also try this experiment with other liquids and over a longer period of time and investigate what happens. If you try this at home, please take pictures and share them with us on our social media. We'd love to see your pictures. See you next time.